You've got your uh, local regions within your states and sometimes breaking the borders. And then you've got 11 mega regions in the United States. You thought you had 50 states, but no, you don't. Now you have 11 mega regions. And you can go to America2050.org if you want to check that out. Yeah, the governments and the U.N. admit all this, and the New York Times comes out and says, yeah, the U.N.'s taken over, but you're bad because you don't want it. I have a map here based on uh, U.N. documents that was uh, that Congress uh, uh, presented, and it shows more than half the U.S. off limits. And people are like, they'll never do that. Where the U.N. has taken over third world countries, I've seen National Geographic where armed guards keep people out of the biospheres. And what it's really about is making the insider's property values go up. They shut off America being able to mine Utah clean burning coal. That doubles the value of the Chinese coal overnight. They shut down our pipeline out of Canada for oil. Now Warren Buffett doubles his money. Bloomberg reported overnight shipping it by train to the West Coast to ships to go to China. Also, sustainable development is selectively enforced. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Stay there. It just, it's, ladies and gentlemen, it is so mind blowing. And I've seen the UN meetings. I've been to them. It's all public how they're going to pulverize our roads. They're already cutting off the funding. You can only then get on the big roads that they've built with huge toll roads on it. It is so nightmarish and it has nothing to do with the environment. We're going to come back and break down this takeover with our guest, Rosa Corey. Stay with us. Okay, we're going back to our guest. We're giving you an in-depth report on Agenda 21, sustainability, smart growth, all of it. Now, remember, uh, I've noticed that I've seen all over the country, there's Democrats against smart growth, Democrats against Agenda 21. The liberals are waking up to this right now because, especially in California, it is tyranny. Here in Austin, under Save Our Springs, they take 15,000 acres of ranchers' property, give them five cents on the dollar or less, make them sell it, eminent domain, that's what she's an expert in. And then they turn around and sell it off to the former mayor's buddies, and they build luxury million-dollar homes on it and shopping malls and uh, spas and hotels. And they just laugh about it. I mean, it's, it, so again, stuff's going to get developed. <laughs> this is not about the environment. It's about insiders controlling everything you can do and artificially not letting you have your own well water. Uh, that's already starting. Rosa Corey, continue how this is already affecting people, how it targets the rural to force us into the compact cities, how it's already. And again, uh, get back into how they control the zoning boards because it's all on record and it's, it, it, it's global standardization. Continuity of agenda yeah. worldwide. This is New World Order. I showed AFP, Associated Press, where the UN admits global government, global tax through this. Go ahead. Yeah, well, that's saying a lot. You know, we. I just want to go back to what you just said about uh, the fact is this is not a left-right issue. It's not a liberal conservative issue. It's an American issue. I happen to be a liberal Democrat. There are many people who are, uh, who are waking up to this who are liberal. And uh, we have a group, it's Democrats Against UN Agenda 21.com. You know, when we talk about sustainability, first of all, sustainable development is United Nations Agenda 21. So you've heard that term. But what is unsustainable according to the United Nations um, and according to your government as well, the American government? Single-family homes, private vehicles, appliances, meat-eating, dams, of course, golf courses, and many, many other things were identified um, as being unsustainable. And so you want to say to yourself, well, what kind of impact is this going to have on my quality of life? And I tell you, it's having an incredible impact on your life right now. Because as I was saying earlier, um, the President's Council on Sustainable Development paid the American Planning Association to come up with a guide that is now in every single planning department and every single university and college in the entire United States. And it's called Growing Smart, a legislative guidebook with model statutes for uh, planning and the management of change. 
And just think about that, you know. The UN and Ken Lay, who wrote all this, will control everything and can selectively enforce it. This is conquering our country by bureaucratic evil. I'm sorry, go ahead. It's true. Well, you know, you, you referred to Ken Lay, and he's supposedly dead, but I, I kind of don't believe that. But, um, you know, this was captains of industry. It's a corporatocracy is what it is. Public-private partnerships are uh, your government combined with corporations, combined with nonprofit groups, NGOs, which are specific nonprofit groups, which are recognized by the United Nations. And they pick the winners and losers. It's this inside uh, crony capitalist model. That's why Mitt Romney and all the major Republicans absolutely worship this. Yeah, well, you know, you're not going to have, there's no silver bullet for this. You're not going to be getting, uh, I shouldn't say you would never get a politician who would, uh, who would fight this for you. But, you know, it's up to all of us to make bad politicians do the right thing. And so I really want to encourage people not to be panicked or um, paralyzed by this. We need to take power, and we are doing it. I'm glad to hear that you're the headquarters of the resistance, because I thought I was. But uh, we are being, you know, this is the resistance. Don't be a good German and go along to get along. These are land use plans. They're designed to get you out of the rural areas and into the center of your city. And they're, they've, every single one of these plans is called, it's called Vision Your Town or Your Town 2050 or 2035. And they're going to call you to come on down and give your opinion of this great new plan for your town. And what they're going to do when you get there is Delphi U, which is a RAND Corporation mind control technique that is now being used on you by your government in almost every government meeting that you'll be going to. You know, you've never seen so many people's opinions being solicited by your government before. And the fact is that it's just the illusion of asking for your opinion. This is a it's a window dressing. You are merely window dressing for these plans. These plans are pre-designed, pre-approved. Well, as you, you know, I've things. actually read the RAND Corporation. I'm glad you raised that. Their Delphi technique, it does two things. It makes you think you're being listened to and then feel like you're at the table. But then they also gather intelligence on you in the process, and they train all these city people how to Delphi, and you're absolutely right. And as for us being the center of the resistance and wide-spectrum resistance to the New World Order, but everyone out there, if you're listening to my voice, you are the center uh, of the resistance against this global corporatocracy. But I agree with you. The work you're doing is some of the most piercing and focused when it comes to their key blueprint, Agenda 21. Now, continuing, though, how they're standardizing it, how they're coming in, because uh, we were talking off air about how scared the system is and how they're now putting out manuals to cities to how to counter, how to how to laugh at you, how to act like you're crazy. The New York Times is coming out, freaking out, saying there's people everywhere fighting us. Our agenda's in trouble. And, of course, the next day they had an article about getting rid of the Constitution. They're showing themselves to be foreign globalist corporate traitors. That's exactly right. And, you know, you'll see this propaganda. It's containment. And the reason that they've got it out there, they're really bringing out their guns now, is, uh, well, not quite, but they will. But uh, this is all about controlling us. They're what, you know, it's a totalitarian state that's being developed right now. And so uh, acquiring information about you, the American Planning Association is out there right now giving seminars on how to control and manage the people who, like us who show up at their meetings who say, hey, we don't want to be Delphi. We don't want your plan. Take your dog and pony show and get out of our town. And I want you to know we're doing this all over the United States. People are standing up and saying, no, we will not accept regional plans. We will not accept dissolution and destruction of our form of government, which is city, county, state, and federal. And you want to make sure that you keep it that way because these are unelected boards that are made up possibly of elected officials, but they are designed to destroy the borders between cities, counties, states, and nations. In fact, one of the, you know, the regions, we've got one in Northern California, one of the mega regions, um, it includes, uh, you know, parts of Canada. You've got the Southern California mega region includes part of Mexico. You have these 11 mega regions across the United States that are effectively destroying your ability to have any impact at all on your government. 
And this is not what we want as Americans. They will want you to go along to get along. All right, stay there. Incredible. Let's come back with solutions and more and break down how it's going to affect us in the future. You think it's bad now. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm going to play you what they're showing school children right now in the U.S. and England, where they show them that every facet of your life uh, is going to be controlled. It is unbelievable criminality. Stay with us. On screen, we have a map showing, according to the U.N. documents, over half the U.S. off limits to humans. This is what they want by 2020. This map is from, what, 1993. And they are freaking out. Of course, foreign mega corporations don't want your county and city and state having the authority or even your own federal government. So they've taken over your nation. Look what's happening in Europe now. Even Time magazine says they've been captured and conquered by Goldman Sachs through fraud. Instead of going to jail like Bernie Madoff, they take over the world. And we're going to have Rosa Corey, who's with us for the rest of the hour, but uh, this is a shorter show and has a different clock on the uh, Sunday. She's going to be back Thursday for an hour and a half to go over even more of this, but I just want to back up everything she's saying. Now, in Australia and in the U.S., I've seen video games they have in public school. Even ABC News covered this, where little animals die. Bunny rabbits die and get their heads chopped off. If you breathe, carbon, carbon hurts them. And so the little kids cry and learn to hate themselves and learn how great suicide is. I'm not kidding. But they also show school children in England. And they have similar videos here. Well, you saw the video last year where, are you going to cut your carbon footprint? And the kids say no. So they blow the kids up in the class. Remember that? If you didn't see it, just type in uh, green ads show kids exploding. It's all an anti-human agenda. But, but here's one of, of more than 10 videos they show children. And you think it's a joke, but this is everything sustainable development does. This is not a joke made to make them look bad. This is a video made by the London Guardian in association with the British government for sustainability. Here it is. Oh, hi. I'm so glad you're on time. I'm V. I'm looking forward to showing you around Plandopolis today. My husband works from home. He's a virtual engineer working in one of the city's desalination plants. He controls the robots who do all the important maintenance. I think he basically plays computer games for a living. <laughs> you ready to go? Have you got your calorie card open on your smartphone? I registered your visit with Slick Travel Corp the other day, so they've uh, allotted you a journey time to, to match mine. It makes so much sense, doesn't it? Switch off brain and go to work. <laughs> with this many people around, I'm glad there's a mega computer in charge. We're so lucky. Uh, our kids were allocated to school quite near my practice, so I can drop them off on the way. It saves on our calorie ration. Well, it won't be long until the little darlings get their career announcements. They've been working so hard, so I'm sure they'll get something good. Not that there's anything wrong with fixing carbon scrubbers for a living or anything. Are you hungry? Let's pop to the market as we're past. Right, what's on the menu this month? No, not meat. It's not your birthday. The Global Food Council are doing a really good job of keeping food production going. All right, let's I stop mean, right there as our guest is here. There are uh, 20 or 30, I haven't counted, of these videos. And uh, the, the, the families aren't allowed to live in single-parent homes. No meat's allowed. You're not allowed to have a car. Uh, and, and this is all officially what the U.N. and our own government says they're setting up. You have to understand, people see these videos and they think this is a joke. No, this is what they're showing kids. So you're an adult and have formed your own opinions back when we were more free. For a child, they just watch this and think, well, that's normal. Just like kids growing up under Hitler thought it was normal. Or kids under the Aztecs thought cutting people's hearts out was normal. Going back to our guest, please continue, uh, Rosa Corey, author and researcher exposing... Agenda 21, this total revolution against humanity by the bureaucratic tyrant eugenics class. You said, well, you know what? This is, the truth is the environmental movement has been hijacked. And you're seeing this uh, in your schools, for instance, with outcome-based education. Um, you'll see asset-based community development. That's coming your way. Wait till you see that. That's a questionnaire that you're going to fill out uh, that's going to get you to do Mandatory volunteering. Now, last time I thought about that, mandatory volunteering sounds a lot like slavery to me. 
but you see that volunteering is not going to be volunteering anymore. You'll be required to be vol to volunteer in order to uh, what get your kid into uh, little league, to be able to uh, maybe work closer to home, to uh, to get your food. You'll be required in order to be a good citizen. Oh, You're Obama fine. has said to graduate high school, you'll have to do it, and it's going to be domestic military, that civilian yeah. corps. Yeah, on it and shopping malls and uh, spas and hotels, and they just laugh about it. I mean, it's, it, so again, stuff's going to get developed. <laughs> this is not about the environment. It's about insiders controlling everything you can do and artificially not letting you have your own well water. Uh, that's already starting. Rosa Corey, continue how this is already affecting people, how it targets the rural to force us into the compact cities, how it's already, and again, uh, get back into how they control the zoning boards because it's all on record and it's it, it, it's global stand agenda 21 sustainability smart growth all of it now remember uh i've noticed that i've seen all over the country there's democrats against smart growth democrats against agenda 21 the liberals are waking up to this right now because especially in california it is tyranny here in Austin, under Save Our Springs, they take 15,000 acres of rancher's property, give them five cents on the dollar or less, make them sell it, eminent domain, that's what she's an expert in. And then they turn around and sell it off to the former mayor's buddies and they build luxury million dollar homes. You've got your uh, local regions within your states and sometimes breaking the borders. And then you've got 11 mega regions in the United States. You thought you had 50 states, but no, you don't. Now you have 11 mega regions, and you can go to America2050.org if you want to check that out. Yeah, the governments and the UN admit all this, and the New York Times comes out and says, yeah, the UN's taken over, but you're bad because you don't want it. I have a map here based on uh, UN documents that was uh, that Congress. Uh, development is selectively enforced. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Stay there. It just, it's, ladies and gentlemen, it is so mind blowing. And I've seen the UN meetings, I've been to them. It's all public how they're going to pulverize our roads. They're already cutting off the funding. You can only then get on the big roads that they've built with huge toll roads on it. It is so nightmarish and it has nothing to do with the environment. We're going to come back and break down this takeover with our guest, Rosa Corey. Stay with us. Okay, we're going back to our guest. We're giving you an in-depth report on uh, presented, and it shows more than half the U.S. off limits. And people are like, they'll never do that. Where the U.N. has taken over third world countries, I've seen National Geographic where armed guards keep people out of the biospheres. And what it's really about is making the insider's property values go up. They shut off America being able to mine Utah clean burning coal. That doubles the value of the Chinese coal overnight. They shut down our pipeline out of Canada for oil. Now Warren Buffett doubles his money. Bloomberg reported overnight shipping it by train to the West Coast to ships to go to China. Also sustainable.